Hey guys, it's Jessica, and I know I've been making a lot of nutrition videos, but I wanted to really make something because I was inspired by this other YouTuber named um, Janelle Christina. She did recently, well not recently, but like a few months ago, she did a video about 50 things that she doesn't buy or she doesn't own. So I thought I would share with you guys because not that I'm 100% a minimalist, but I am a semi-minimalist, um, especially for a girl. Uh, I grew up with a mom who kind of kept everything, was a hoarder, she was always late for everything and I think that really traumatized me growing up with that. So I'm the complete opposite now and I'm going to share with you guys the things that I do buy or I don't buy. Before I start listing stuff, uh, don't forget to please like and subscribe this video if you really like it or leave a comment down below to see. I just want to hear what people have to say, um, whether it's about me, whether it's about Matt, but yeah, like and subscribe. Okay, let's get started. Number one, I makeup. I don't wear any makeup. I don't like to put on makeup. I don't like to keep my mind occupied as to what is makeup, so I don't even worry about it at all. Um, I don't know what foundation is. I don't know what concealer is. I don't know what eyeshadow is or does or like what colors. Like I, don't, I just don't worry about it at all. Uh, if I ever do wear makeup, it's for a very, very special occasion, like a wedding or someone very special to me asked me to for whatever reason. But um, I always uh, have a few friends that are really into makeup that they'll just do it for me and then I'll just take it off at the end of the night because I'm not going to worry about how how to even like start putting that shit on. Uh, the next thing I don't really have is jewelry. I wear this wedding band, uh, which is also my aura ring, so it tracks my sleep. Um, other than that, I have a couple watches, if, or three watches actually, and like other stuff that are very sentimental to me, but other than that, I don't really go looking for that kind of stuff. Uh, I have been wanting these hoop earrings, but like I've been thinking about them for just a year and just like have never purchased them just because I know I'm not gonna wear them that much, so what's the point? Uh, the other thing that a lot of girls are super into is nail polish. Uh, I only have two nail polishes and the only, that and I have had them for the past like five years. Um, they're non-toxic, like free of all toxins pretty much. Uh, nail polish, they don't have any smell to them. That's something that like uh, we're sensitive to so I don't even bother buying any other nail polishes. Uh, I'm also like you know, I don't want to think about what color am I going to wear. I just don't want to think about it. For a lot of girls, this is a relaxing time to go to the spa, go to the nail salon. But like for me, I'd rather just not worry about it at all and spend 25 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever bucks it is in your area. But I'd rather just not worry about it at all. We have nail clippers because Matt uses them. But like other than that, I just bite my nails, which is really bad habit. I don't really recommend it. But hey, like I don't need nail clippers. Every time we go home to Napa to visit family, I always go into our shower to take a shower and I see a whole bunch of things that we've had there since I was probably like 10. Um, I'm not like that at all. If you go into our bathroom, our bath will only have one shampoo, one conditioner, one razor to shave my legs, and one loofah for me because I like to use them every once in a while, like a couple times a week. Other than that, there's nothing else. Whenever I go home, I see Neutrogena bottles or I see lotion or I see like, you know, Tylenol and all this stuff. We don't use Tylenol. We don't use medicine like that, no Tylenol, no Advil, no I, whatever it is, knockoffs of Tylenol and Advil, um, we don't use any of that, we use turmeric instead. Oh yeah, for shaving cream, uh, I never, I, I used to buy shaving cream and I used to think it would make my legs smoother, but really like I looked at the ingredients in these shaving creams and they're terrible, so I stopped using them a long, long, long time ago and now all I use is conditioner. Uh, it just feels really good on my legs when I'm rubbing it because conditioner is a little bit silkier, um, so I use that. You can also use coconut oil, you can use any other types of oil, you can even use shampoo shampoo or soap if you wanted to, um, but I use conditioner because it's a lot easier on my hair. Uh, one thing that I wasn't used to when I first moved in with somebody else was I, my family used to have a ton of towels. Like we would have a stack of towels for all four of us and now I only have one towel and we each have one towel only, like that's it. We have one bath towel, I wash them like once a week. A lot of you might find that gross, a lot of you might not find that gross and it's completely normal. I don't know, but that's just what we do. Uh, another big one that a lot of girls, or I see a lot of girls do is they have a lot of purses, a lot of wallets, a lot of like phone cases, a lot of um, accessories, and I just don't buy any of that. I don't have fanny packs. I have one backpack that I bought when I was in school and I just like will use it to death and then I will buy another one. Everything, everything, everything that I buy is always to replace something, not to just like store that other thing and keep that place, which is something that my mom used to do. Uh, I'm not talking bad about my mom, but that was probably the one thing that I just want to be different 
uh, from her about. I don't have a purse. I don't have a wallet. Uh, I actually use a hair tie to tie my credit cards, debit cards, and any type of card in, and I just leave it in my car. I don't carry my ID around everywhere. It's always in my car because why else would I need it? I don't go out. I don't go clubbing. I don't go out drinking. I won't need this. I'm not going to strip clubs either, so I'm not gonna need my license. Like, whoa. Sorry, it was a cool car going down the road. <laughs> I don't have any of that. I use a hair tie to tie up all my credit cards and debit cards. That's just what I do. That's just the system that works for me. I'm good with that. No purses, no fanny packs, no backpacks, no clear bags, no like anything. I just don't want to hold anything. My mom would always have a purse with her, at least one purse, at least. Like I'm saying like most of my life is mostly two purses, um, though I will admit that I do have grocery bags. I keep a lot of those grocery bags and I keep one in each car just because we use them a lot. We are always going to the store. We're always buying you know, a whole bunch of groceries all the time. So that's the one thing I will keep is uh, reusable bags. And if not, I give them away because I feel like everyone should be using a reusable bag. For hair, I have hair ties and I have a couple scrunchies and that's about it. I don't buy any fancy stuff. I don't buy anything else. I used to buy these like Nike uh, bands to hold my hair up as I'm like working out, but I stopped buying those because the only reason I would buy those is because the hairs in the back would like always fall out right here and now I have an undercut so I don't even need those anymore so it feels amazing so another little hack to be a minimalist I guess is have an undercut it literally like is life-changing I also have never dyed my hair when I was 13 I dyed the tips of my hair and I bleached them and that was the last time I ever did anything because it like damaged my hair so badly it was dry and crumbly and disgusting so I cut those ends off when they got long and I just like never dyed it again uh, I think it's a waste of money a waste of time you know my mom again with my mom she always dyes her hair and I feel like you know her hair looks great and that's just the way that she wants to live i'm just the complete opposite i don't care uh my hair is thick and and everyone thinks it's a virgin hair and they love it so you know i just keep it the way it is because your hair is beautiful no matter what i used to buy clothes at like nordstrom's and you know all these american eagle hollister paxa and i used to buy clothes from there and then i started thrifting because my friend got me into thrifting and i started finding all these same things that i was buying for triple the price at Salvation Army or Goodwill for like four dollars. So I started thrifting a lot and the only clothes that I buy are just like clothes that I are gonna be functional to me. I buy t-shirts. I probably have about like maybe five t-shirts. I have one pair of eight different kinds of pants. I have one pair of black pants, one pair of blue jeans, one pair of high-waisted jeans. I have a pair of shorts overalls and one other pair of shorts. I recently just bought two more shorts thrifting thinking I was gonna resell them, but I'm just gonna wait for the summer, which is coming up in like a month or two and not have to worry about buying shorts ever again and just like wear them to death. The one thing I will buy brand new is like stuff like underwear and socks because that's kind of gross, you know, unless, I don't know. I, I just think that's gross. I could find underwear, good deals at Costco, um, and socks too. I always buy at Costco and I wear them all the time. I'm a sock person. I love socks and, you know, you could say I'm not a minimalist because I wear a whole bunch of socks, but I literally wear these socks. Like, I don't just leave them in there. I used to do that, but now I got over that fear of using, because it just feels so good to have a brand new sock on your foot. Like, it just feels so good. So I never wanted to ruin socks. I, oh, one thing I never buy is white socks because I'm such a freak about getting them dirty and I know I'm never gonna wear them so I never buy white socks I was buy gray black or blue I also have one dress and I rotate it so I will buy a dress for at Goodwill or Salvation Army and then I will resell it and buy another dress for another occasion so that people aren't like why are you wearing the same dress why are you wearing the same dress so I do that and I just keep like recycling 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 pretty much and I make my money back from what I spent from Goodwill so I recommend everyone doing that I also own one pair of heels they're like sandal heels I don't even know what those are called and they're color nude because uh, I want it to go with everything so I can wear them all the time so I have those um, I don't own any flats um, most of my shoes are vans uh, because I just can beat those to death and they're cheap they're like 40 bucks and I will wear them till the end of time so around the house I'm um, pretty picky about what goes where and so is Matt and one thing that we definitely don't buy is uh, scented candles or any type of candles uh, it kind of sets our aware air monitor off a little bit so that's why we don't do it and then the other reason is because most of these candles are not even they're just have a whole bunch of ingredients that we don't know about and because they're not like 
you know, they're not obligated to disclose that type of information. And some of them just like, I don't know, I've become really sensitive to a lot of smells, so I just like don't even bother. You know, our house smells great. I feel like if you are cleaning it and appropriately, it shouldn't have an off smell. If you're taking out the trash regular, regularly, it shouldn't have an off smell. So one thing that uh, Janelle, Christina talked about was buying in bulk that she doesn't do and that's one thing that I will Disagree with I actually do buy things in bulk, but when I mean bulk I mean I buy like four at a time I never buy 25 at a time or 50 at a time and I know it's different if you have kids or you have a big household uh, Say you live with your parents and your brothers and sisters or you actually have like 10 kids in your house like obviously you're gonna have to buy 50 because you're gonna go through that stuff really fast but for us it's just really fast we just um buy at least four at a time if they're on sale and just keep them there because a lot of our soaps and dish soaps and shampoos they they, they don't all run out at the same time you know one could run out today and the other one tomorrow and the other one a few days i don't want to go to the store this, that lo that many times in a week so i just buy it in bulk so that when it runs out we just go get one and when we're we have one left and we know we have one left then we'll make a grocery store stop and just like a little bit more so that's one thing that i disagree with her about uh, i'm sure you guys would understand that too we also buy our toilet paper from amazon and we buy i think it's like one case of it which comes with 24 rolls and we go through with it like once a month i think but um it's special toilet paper it's unbleached toilet paper because bleach is disgusting and i don't want it near my butt so um yeah, I will link that in the description if you're interested in that. We don't buy a lot of cleaning sprays, so we don't buy any like Febreze, 409, uh, Fabuloso, Ahax, like any of that stuff. We don't buy any of that. Um, it's just a waste of space at the bottom of your kitchen cabinet, and also that stuff is disgusting to have around your house and around your animals and your family. So we don't even bother. The one thing I do use is just white vinegar and water. Just like dilute, you know, one-to-one -one ratio, and that should pretty much clean everything unless you're doing like marble or um even like you know leather or gra or whatever tile in the bathroom like that's a little bit different but uh just for basic cleaning it's just that if you need that like other type of cleaners then you can figure some other alternative because most of the stuff is really bad for you <laughs> one thing that a lot of millennials are doing is like they don't even pay for cable we all grew up cable but like i bet you anything that like if you're over 25 you and under 50 <laughs> you don't have cable so um we have netflix hulu and amazon but the only reason we use amazon is because we're already paying for prime it just comes included with it and netflix we had it before hulu but then we had to watch handmaid's tale so then we got hulu so now i use actually both of them because i feel like they're pretty good but when the disney one comes out i'm gonna have to get rid of one of those i don't buy any souvenirs uh that's one thing that i do I grew up, my parents were kind of like this too. We didn't grow up with a lot of money, so why would we buy this like useless magnet for like our friends and family? We just never did that and I just, I just stayed with that. I don't believe in souvenirs. I feel like it's junk. Um, it's just like my sister asked me for a shot glass from Hawaii and I didn't give her one because I just feel like it's just junk. She's just gonna get rid of it at some point. It's just a waste of money for me, so I just don't even bother. We don't really like to have a lot of furniture unless we know it's gonna brighten up the room. So we have a little bit of art. If you wanna see my crib, then I can make another video. Let me know in the comments. I don't buy any uh, DVDs, CDs, anything like that. Um, I do have a pair of big headphones but i don't rarely use them and i've had them for like 10 years they're even like kind of crumbling over there um i do have a playstation 3 that i've been wanting to sell so if you're interested uh just send me an offer down below and we can talk uh we don't have any photos of ourselves out in our place uh if you go into a lot of american family households i remember seeing like baby pictures and all this stuff and maybe it's because we don't have kids i don't know but i don't know i just we don't need any pictures of ourselves we know we're together and we know we're happy together so there's no reason for us to have a picture of like us happy together somewhere um that's why there's instagram and facebook you know like my feed that's that's my photo album don't forget like i said before if i'm gonna buy something it's just to replace it not to keep forever you know so there's an example i always think of it's like one time my mom brought a whole bunch of outdoor chairs and what did she do with her current outdoor chair? She just put them in the garage store and I just feel like just a waste of money, waste of space, waste of everything. Uh, one thing for girls hygienic uh, stuff. Um, I actually, one thing that Janelle Christina always talked or she said was that she uses the menstrual cups. I've never used those. I'm actually kind of scared to use those. Uh, I usually wear just pads. I don't wear tampons because tampons are scary and you know, toxic 
syndrome, whatever is kind of scary. And plus, like, I don't want to put any of those chemicals up my hoo-ha. Like, why would anyone want to do that? So, and yes, I know there are organic hypoallergenic ones, but I still think it's weird that we're sticking things up or stuff you know so i just wear pads because i'm comfortable with them and i buy these hypoallergenic it's the seventh generation ones that are like don't have any sense no smells like no chemicals like it's just like it's just a pad you know how it should be it's just a pad I don't buy a lot of uh, board games. Um, I didn't, my cousin, when I, growing up, my cousin would always have the board games and we wouldn't have them. So I, I just grew up and we just don't have them. Uh, whenever my friends come, we just kind of talk and hang out. We don't need to be entertained with like a whole bunch of weird board games. I don't own a lot of pairs of workout clothes and shirts, pants. I have one Lululemon that I thrifted for like five bucks. Uh, capris and I own two workout shirts and two tank tops uh, for the summer and I've had those for a couple years now shoes I have two pairs because I like to rotate them because um, it's better for my feet and you know just to air them out a little bit sports bras I only have two I got that deal at Costco because they do the two for like 15 bucks which I think is a really good deal so I just buy those and I get rid of the ones um, that I used before because I usually wear them to death so I like know when I'm supposed to replace them so I do same thing with socks Costco great deal you can buy six or I don't, I don't I don't know how many pairs six for ten maybe I don't know and when I know that my socks are getting a little like crusty and stuff I just like throw them out go to Costco buy new ones uh, one thing that everyone makes me feel weird about is every time I get a new phone, I just start fresh. I don't have, I don't download my previous pictures or apps or contacts because I like to just start fresh and not worry about those pictures. I upload this to, those to my computer, but when I get a new phone, I just like leave it like scratch. And if people are start texting me, I will look up at the other phone. If they don't text me, that just means I don't know them and that's it, like we just don't talk, you know? Same thing with apps. I don't like to keep apps from my old phone or getting them back to my new phone with the cloud. I just feel like if I don't use those apps, then they're not important to me. The ones that I download when I need them is are the ones that I will need for like that year, you know? So yeah, that was interesting. I wanna thank Janelle Christina for inspiring this video. And if you have any questions or if you wanna comment about how I'm not a minimalist, which I'm sure I'll get, which I'm not claiming I'm, I am, I am probably a semi, much better than most of the populations. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.